Joanna Granero from the London Spanish Film Festival for the Instituto Cervantes in London. This is the third video of this series of uh, mini talks. I started talking about Jose Luis Cuerda, who sadly left us last February, and then we went on to talk about SCAC, the, the Catalan School of Film, uh, where Cuerda taught occasionally. From there, and by way of actress Agatha Roca, who acted in SCAC's associated production company film, uh, we all want what's best for her. I'm talking today very briefly about Jaime Rosales and two of, of his films. As I was saying last time, uh, the first feature film of Agatha Roca was, as an actress, was also the first feature film of Jaime Rosales as a director. This film was The Hours of the Day. Um, Jaime Rosales knew early on that he wanted to make films, but before that he had to study economics in Barcelona. After that, he was able to go back to his dream and studied film in Havana and Sydney. He started directing three shorts, which were followed by six long feature films. These six films have little in common, about the fact that he himself produced them with his production company, Festival Films, and he co-wrote their scripts. He rarely works with the same actors. He also works with different teams, Subjects are wide and varied. I'd say Rosales cinema is essentially independent, art, uh, with an aesthetic, um, aesthetic quality about them, simple in the aesthetics outlook, but not in their history or narrative, and terribly realistic in their approach. I'd like to talk um, about two of his films, The Hours of the Day, his first one, and Petra, his last one. They both have in common uh, Alex Tendimo's superb acting. He's one of our favorite actors and has been a guest of this festival on a few occasions. The Hours of the Day was an impressive start. It was the first feature film of a young filmmaker with unknown actors and he wins the Fipresi Award at Cannes in uh, 2003. It's a film full of uh, realism presenting um, the mediocrity of Abel's life. Abel's life is uh, monotonous, always the same problems, the same conversations, plain and boring. But as we follow his life, suddenly, with no apparent reason, he kills a man. And, um, and then another person. And um, the way in which these killings are presented to us from beginning to end with all the practical issues Abel finds in doing so, bring um, a shivering realism to this violence. When Alex Tendemul came to the first edition of the festival to present the film, he talked about how difficult shooting those scenes had been and how surprisingly hard it is to take someone's life. This is the reason for which I value this film so much, that hard film realism which simplicity is only apparent and behind which there's the hard work of an exceptional actor and an exceptional director. Petra was uh, released in uh, 2018. After many years, Rosales works again with uh, Vendemil, who plays here the son of a famous artist, Jaume. Jaume is powerful and influential. Uh, as a person is rather perverse and ruthless, not surprisingly, the father-son relationship is rather complicated. And uh, Petra is a young woman working temporarily as an artist in residence with Jaume. She thinks Jaume is her father. From here on, the film takes us from the insecurity of one character to the intrigue and secrets of others, from mischief to cruelty, from hope to, to the inevitability of the consequences of one's act. It's like a Greek tragedy, with some hope though. The structure of the film, alternating episodes with ellipses, is in my opinion very effective and compelling. And the work of Rosales as an actor's director is again exceptional. The actor playing Jaume was not a professional. It was his debut and he was 77 years old. In the film uh, work as well, um, Barbara Leni, who plays uh, Petra, and uh, Marisa Paredes, an icon of Spanish cinema, also our guest. 
with uh, one of the most solid acting careers in the country. British audiences may probably remember her mainly for her work with Pedro Almodóvar, particularly All About My Mother, where she worked with another great Spanish actor, Fernando Fernán Gómez. And it is about him that I'd like to talk to you next time. See you then.